Ciao BHP UK and on the dyno today we have one of Italy's very special machines on. It is an MV Augusta, the 800 Rivali. This bike is a 2015 bike. It uh, looks absolutely fabulous. There really is something special about MVs and uh, uh, bikes like this that's all like come out in small numbers. I mean it looks fabulous, it's 170 odd kilograms, uh, 120 some brake horsepower at the crank. Uh, we'll see what it makes at the wheel. This has had a little bit of work done to it, it's got a sports cat on it. The Lambda has been deleted, not always the best idea in the world, but that's how the customers bought the bike to us, so that's how we're going to set it up. Uh, so let's do what we always do, let's get it run up on the dyno, let's see what the fueling is actually doing, uh, and let's get it set up to run properly. The customer has already told us that the bike is very, very lumpy at the top end, gets to a point in the RPM where it runs quite well, and then at the high end of the RPM range, it does start to bog again. So it's something that we will look at, it will be in the fueling, uh, but let's see what it's doing on the dyno, let's get some figures as to what it's doing and we'll tune it up properly. Augusta Rivale 800. This was actually a really interesting project for us. It came to us, it had been messed about with a little bit on the ECU program and somebody had plugged some uh, Lambda Delete dongles into the bike to try and make it run a little bit richer without using the, uh, the Lambda sensors. What we do with a bike like this is we run it up on the dyno uh, to see what it's doing before we start any modifications to it. It was that far out we actually just decided to put the bike back to factory standard plug back in the lambdas uh, and, and run the bike again it, and then we modified it after that. So at 25% throttle the bike was really hideous. You can see here the blue plot is the bike as it came to us between four and 5,000 RPM. You can see this absolutely horrendous dip in the power curve. The bike virtually made no power really when you had the, 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 the throttle open at 25% and the red plot is the modified file. Uh, it's now making about 47 brake horsepower and it's starting to pull away nice and clean. The fueling is perfect, it's exactly where we wanted it. Uh, and the bike now actually rides well at 25%. See here at 50%, uh, again, the, the it wasn't so bad up to about 10,000 RPM, but then after that, uh, the power really came, uh, came in in a really jerky manner. And that's all down to the, the fueling being over rich. Again, that was corrected. We corrected the timing and some of the restrictions that are programmed into the ECU. And we've got a nice, smooth parabola. Just below 100% throttle. Uh, again, we had the bike drop off at 10,000 RPM. Again, this was corrected and the fueling was corrected to make it run as it should be doing. And at wide open throttle at 100%, you can see here that we've, uh, again, corrected the fueling where the bike drops off at eight, uh, there's a big blip between eight and 9,000 RPM that's been smoothed out and the bike just drops off power at 10,000. The bike came to us making 117 brake horsepower at 10,000 RPM, at which point it dropped off and became really lumpy and bumpy to ride. Uh, and now the bike just carries on producing power all the way up to 129 at the back wheel. Uh, we've had feedback from the customer. He's absolutely delighted with the way that the bike rides and is more than pleased with the results that we've managed to get for him. These bikes are available on our ECU flasher. Uh, should you not be local to us or should you not be in a position where you can bring the bike to us, we can post one of these devices out to you. You take a read from your bike, send that file to us, we modify it and send it back to you, taking into account any hardware modifications you've made to the bike. We really do hope you're enjoying what we're bringing to the channel. We're trying to work on as many bikes as we can. Please do hit the like, subscribe and the bell icon. It will keep you notified of when the next videos are available. We've got some really interesting projects in the pipeline, so please make sure you don't miss out.